Hi, it's Barbara, and I wanted to share with you excerpts of the books which have changed my life in a profound way. Last week, I was reading Out of the Power of Awareness of Neville Goddard, and this week, I will be reading a passage out of The Prophet from Khalil Gibran. And let me read you an excerpt which talks about teach. Then a teacher speak to us of teaching, and he said, no man can reveal to you all but that which already lies half asleep in the downing of your knowledge. The teacher who walks in the shadow of the temple among his followers gives not of his wisdom, but rather of his faith and his lovingness. If he is indeed wise, he does not bid you enter the house of his wisdom, but rather leads you to the treasure of your own mind. The astronomer may speak to you of his understanding of space, but he cannot give you his understanding. The musician may sing to you of the rhythm which is in all space, but he cannot give you the ear which arrests the rhythm, nor the voice that echoes it. There is one sentence here that I want to reread because it's so, so profound. It's the sentence. If he is indeed wise, he does not bid you enter the house of his wisdom, but rather leads you to the threshold of your own mind. And isn't that what a great teacher does? A great teacher is not interested in followers. A great teacher is not interested in people who just swallow what he says like that without thinking, no. A true wise teacher, first of all, has a compassionate heart because he sees before him a searching and struggling soul. And a wise teacher will make you question. And the moment you start thinking for yourself, you start questioning, you open your mind and you open yourself for the wisdom that is already within you. And yes, a teacher can lead us the way. And yes, a book can lead us the way. But they are only lamps on a path which leads us to the wisdom which is really inside of us.